Hey everybody, it's me, Everyday Nerdy here, and today we're going to do the spear of Killmonger, so let's go. So here we're going to start with just doing the sketch of the spear, and I did half a triangle to start with, and then once I have half a triangle, I'm going to do a fillet on the left end, per se, if you want to call it the left, whatever. And when I do a fillet, it's because it's nice and round, I couldn't get this shape organically, which is why I did it this way. And then once I have that done, I'm going to use a center part as a line to mirror it so that I can mirror it and then recreate the same on the other side. So now once that's done, you can extrude. And when I extrude, you can do it either side. I just picked this side because that's what I wanted to do. And after that, I do a chamfer. However, when you do a chamfer, this is subjective, but I didn't want it to go fully all the way because I liked how much space was in there compared to like the, how the actual spear is that Killmonger uses. But then you have to extrude, so you have the gap there. Now the thing is here, is since the chamfer didn't go the whole way, I'm going to add a construct plane, and I'm going to push it to where the chamfer ended, and I can split the body that way. So then that will be the new back end of this spear. So, And then you can just remove the other body, and voila. So I also like to have lanes perpendicular for the sake of mirroring. So I'm going to add a plane there for 90 degrees for the mirroring line just because that's what I do at a habit. It's, a good, it's like a good point of reference when you want to mirror things. So here I'm going to show you how I will be mirroring the spear. And like that's how you make the spear look like a whole spear. Pretty, pretty neat. I like it. Now here... You don't have to do construct planes every time. I just like to use construct planes for in case I need to resize something. It makes it easier for things to adjust. I'm going to do a circle here, sketch, and I'm going to just extrude it out because it's where the handle's going to be. I won't be really doing like anything for the handle that's involving what's the word like uh, like designs, like the cloth material yet. I might be doing that later, but I'm not adding that in this video. Everything, I usually do a new body because it makes me feel safe. Because <laughs> Kathleen need to do something. You can always go back and change that in the extru extrusion. So now for this part, you can do it many ways. I am lofting the circles. So I'm creating a plane on each level and I'm creating a circle and I'm adjusting the circle so I can control the size of the circles. If you look at the spear, it like goes up inside where this is, but it slowly gets smaller and smaller. So you could just do a regular extruded circle and like adjust the, the taper or tapper, however it's pronounced. But I decided to do circles and I just loft them. And then I do outlines of the circle for each, for each construct plane, basically where the circle is located. I just make it slightly smaller and smaller. And that way it makes it really easy to adjust. And my one tip is, I make all my construct lines invisible. Well, I, I only make the one that I'm using visible because <laughs> I spent like 20 minutes drawing on the wrong plane. And I didn't realize because I was drawing in the middle plane when I thought I was drawing in the top plane. And it got really annoying. So, but the key is usually for the last one to have it be pointing to a dot point per se, whatever you want to say. So it can just loft and it creates like that, I don't know, duh, that thing. So... And then voila, right there. So but obviously you don't want it to cut. You want it to be a new body instead of cut. So we're going to do that. And woo. Yeah. That, that actually took me, because uh, I tried being lazy and doing a, a tapper and a taper and it didn't, it, I didn't like it. So I decided to go with this lofting way. Yeah. And now we're going to be doing... Like inside the spear, there's like these things that go on the on the edge. I don't know how to explain it. And we're going to be doing this one. So this one, the one in the center, I notice on the spear is more uniformed and it's mirrored on one side. So I am just creating a simple polygon sketch and I'm going to revolve it. But I'm only going to revolve it in one direction. Because once I revolve it in one direction, like going one way, I can then mirror it the opposite way, combine it as one body, and then mirror it 
like this way, if that's making any sense. You can see it when it's done. And this got a bit tricky because I try to get it to align perfectly with the edge. But then I notice on the sword, it's not aligned perfectly on some of them. It's like a bit, um, not spiky, but there's indents. The other ones you'll see later on that I have to make had to be more smooth. Because if you look at how the spear looks, so he has the middle part in the middle of where the spear is. And then after that, there's like two on the bottom and one at the top. Those are a lot smoother. So those, I couldn't do this technique. And then when you revolve it, you have to make it go, I believe, I'm not sure if it's past or, yeah, you have to make it go past the, um, the spear body. So that way you can't slice it. So you can use the faces of this outer part of the spear to slice this this guy that I'm creating right now. And that way you can edge up and match up smoothly or a bit better. So, but to slice him going this way, the, the opposite way of <laughs> the inner part of the spear, I go, I'm going to create a construct plane at an angle and I'm gonna to try to angle it so that it's like, it's going to cut into that new little piece I'm creating that's holding in the spear together, but it's not going to cut too deep. Because one thing I noticed as I did this technique, because you'll see later on that I adjust this, because I, I realized that the spear part is too short. Uh, it, it depends a lot on where this piece is located, so it doesn't always work. But I found this to be the best solution to make it look as, I guess you could say, even as possible to a certain degree. So it's kind of the best what I have. Uh, I'm not exactly pleased with it, but I think with more time, maybe someone else will come up with a more better way or something like that. So, but see, that's what I'm talking about. I just mirrored it and now I'm just going to go mirror it on the other side. This is the only one that you can do that with because the other little, whatever you call these pieces, they're not done symmetrically like this. So this is the easy one. And overall, I think it came out pretty good. Not too bad. Okay, so now we're going to do what I was saying when you, you should do construct planes because I'm going to readjust the spear because I don't like the size of the spear. So as I readjust the spear, sometimes things need to change like this construct plane, which I kind of referenced earlier, de kind of depends on where it is, the one that's at an angle that you're slicing that part of the body. So, and I still don't kind of like what I'm seeing. So it's going to be a little bit of me tweaking the size of the spear, this and that. Because, yeah, because when you change one thing, it sometimes can trickle effect into the design later on, which is why it's kind of good to set up things so it doesn't have a big trickle effect sometimes. But now we're going to do the, the other two pieces of the spear that are on the bottom, that are, auto, that are on the bottom of the spear. They're similar to what we just did, except this one, they're thinner. And I believe they also look slightly different in the finish of how they touch the spear. But it was kind of hard because everything was a bit different. And like I said before, as you can see, I am not satisfied because I'm adjusting the spear again. Which like I said, this is really is what good. So as I do these extra things I'm doing onto the spear, I can see that the spear is not large enough. So I'm going to adjust it. And this is kind of, I don't know. I found it really hard to get a really good picture of this. There's one of like Michael B. Jordan holding like the spears like this. And I think there's one where it's behind his back. And those were the kind of the ones I used mainly for reference. So yeah, I did my best. I, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking in the right photos for a good reference for this one. So, but now that these two pieces are done, I'm going to revolve them and do the symmetry. So. And like I said earlier, when you do one adjustment, it, everything will trickle sometimes. So you have to go back and do some editing, which is what I'm doing right now. And I have to create a different construct plane at an angle for each of these individual, I don't know what you would call these, 
connections of the spears differently because each one's at a different angle. So I have to literally go one by one and just, you know, cut it. So, yeah. And like I said before, when you change one thing in the beginning, it can do a trickle effect. And so I'm going to have to go and do a bunch of adjusting because when I did like the, the cuts, you remove, well, when you join the body, sometimes when you adjust the cuts, it's combining the wrong body. So you have to go back and uh, fix all those. Luckily, overall, when I kept adjusting the spear, it wasn't too bad. Like I've had way worse fixes that I had to do. Hey, so excuse my tango dancing with these construct planes. But in a nutshell, now we're going to be doing the, yeah, like these thingies. And you got the ones on the side that I was talking about that have more of a separate, smoother approach. And what I mean by this hand is, so it'll be, it comes out from here, from the center of the spear. Then it'll touch the outer spear. And it's like, it's angled, basically. It's not straight how the other one, you could just revolve if that makes any sense. So for this, we're going to be doing lofting and so you can do any shape. I did a rectangle. So I draw a rectangle in the center of the spear and I'm going to push off and do an offset plane. And on that offset plane, I'm going to do another rectangle and I'm going to slightly, you know, this is a bit where it gets subjective, how far you want it and how much to the right or left you want it to be. I make sure I have it far enough that it is, what is the word? It is going to pass the spear outline and I'm going to do, you know, the usual cut, split body, using the face of the outer spear, all that fun stuff. But then here's the thing, what you can do for this loft to make it different, which you'll see me doing it shortly, is you can do points on the different planes. Like you add a point on each one. And when you add a point, when you have two points that you have done, you can make a axis. And when you have an axis, you can do a plane on it. So then you can do a plane on the axis. And once you do a plane on the axis, you can draw a line that's connecting those, these two planes that are separate now, the two polygons on the planes. And that can be the, what's the word? The rail, center part, center line, whatever that word is that connects a loft. So now that lofting piece will have a bloop curve thing. The one thing is I do find it hard to draw on a plane that's at an angle. Because sometimes I'll do it and I'll find myself drawing some weird shape on accident. So I always, I try to like move it around because I want to be like, is it? Correct? Like, is it in the correct spot or something like that? So I always try to double check. But as you can see here, it's nice and curved. Because if you look at the at the sword, like, this part is curved. It's not like the other ones that you saw me revolve. So, and I did struggle a bit to get this one to be completely flat. Not flat, but, like, to have that edge piece that you see right now. So what I did was I used a fillet. And I thought it came out pretty decent with the fillet. Um, if you find something better, let me know. But the, you know, like I said, these are just like how I go about doing these designs. So just in case, you know, when people are doing things that sometimes like when you have a blank canvas, you sometimes get like a block and sometimes seeing someone else do something helps out a lot. So that's what the hope is for like this type of content, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so now that we did the bottom one, we're going to do the top one. This is going to be the last one. This is going to have the same concept, except it's going to be going the opposite way. What I mean by opposite way is I don't remember which way I had the first one done, but it's like, let's say I had, um, like this hand is where the center spear is. And then the other one is on this side, which is the outer part of the spear. We're going to swap it. So it's going to curve the the other way. If that makes any sense at all. Hopefully I did it like that. If not, that's what it should have been. So, and then I have a hard time sometimes selecting the plane when it's inside a body. So I usually like turn it all off 
because I need to I need to be special like that and have everything easier to select. And so, and after that is the usuals, split, uh, yeah, split body. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, yeah, it's split body because you use the outer. I'm trying to remember what I did. You do split body, and I think that might be it. Yeah, it's just split body. I don't know why I keep thinking the combine feature because I do do that a lot, but I don't think I use. It's late. I'm just. Trying... My brain is crashing right now. Oh, I got a brain that's crashing. Um, <laughs> I don't know why, but. So here I spent a lot of time just moving that outer polygon that I created, like that 2D feature, 2D thing. It's because I'm trying to get it to line up as best as I can with the edge of the spear. So that's basically what I'm doing because I can't think of another way to get it to match. And it's just trial and error. But then again, I think I gave up because... I swear on some of the swords, it's a very abrupt connection. So, like I said, it was hard to find good stuff, but I think maybe the one thing I should have added for this sword is, uh, there's like a, what's it called? Like, the inside had like a triangle type thing, but I wasn't sure that could be it. But what I did notice is what you're seeing me do right now if I'm doing construct planes is the tip part of the sword on of the spear had a spot that the inner spear I have no idea how to give labels for these things but the inner part of the sword had a spear connection that could go inside and I only saw it on a couple of them and that's here what I'm trying to do and I didn't like it as big as you're seeing it right now so I try to shrink it. This part, like, I don't know if it's accurate, but I was like, mm, let me at least dabble. But the one thing I do think, looking back now, that I definitely missed is for sure inside the spear, like when you have that shape, inside there, it was like a, it's more this style. I mean, maybe I did do it like that. I, I don't know. I had... I think I needed better images for the sword, but I could be being really nitpicky. I don't, it was hard. It's hard when you don't have like good images. And I try to get it as accurate as I can compared to like what I'm seeing. So, but in a nutshell, this is Killmonger's second spear. Take it as you want. Um, hopefully this helped and yeah. See you guys. The rest of this video is just going to be me re basically just readjusting the, the sword spear. And if you want to see that and see how I readjust it and I walk through the whole process of readjusting it, enjoy. I think I'm just going to do a quick time lapse of it. There's not really much to say, it's just me readjusting it and it being annoying <laughs> when you go back and you readjust the sketch and you're like oh no I gotta figure fix all this um the biggest problem is with, like I think I said it before is when you readjust something and you cut something later on and you have to remove a body or you combine a body sometimes things the bodies they change what body is what so like what's body one and you adjust the sketch and the way it gets cut is differently. Body one could be now what body two is or vice versa. So you have to go back and redo certain things. So, but that's it. Bye.